Are you gonna do a bed show with me, honey? You need to go sit right there. Good girl, sit. Hey everyone, it's Ayla, and I wanted to do. I could try anyway to do a um, a thrift haul, and I'm totally looking at the wrong. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Okay, I'm going to do a thrift haul. Um, I have gone thrifting, antiquing, estate sailing, a bunch of stuff, and I've got a bunch of stuff, so I want to show you what that is. And Ember is going to help me, apparently. It's my day to go. Okay, so without further ado, so the first thing is this big green thing. <laughs> um, it's not typically something that I would pick up, but I really liked that it looks just like the cups in tarot, <laughs> the cut suit. It's like got the big thing and it's nice and um, it's kind of huge. Um, and the fact that it's green, I thought it would be a great place. You can see I've already put things in it. Um, for my, I have a hoodoo money jar um, that's full of beans and I transferred it into here. Uh, and so there's like beans and I thought I could put coins and crystals and lodestones and petitions and things of this nature all mixed in. So it's in this nice big chalice looking deal. And I like that it's kind of cauldron shaped. So anyways, it just reminds me of abundance and all of that. So I have a tea light in here. I actually like this shape too. I don't know why. But um, I, what was I going to say? Oh, I want to set it on the east side of my house for abundance and all of that. And I like to keep a tea light lit in it from new moon to full moon and I do have it lit on other times as well but that that's when I really try to keep it lit or I light one tea light in there day I don't keep it lit uh, anyways so that's that and there's different things in there already so that's the first thing the second thing which I thought was super cool is this little guy and there's my super <laughs> strategic setup it's just got mirrored shelves. Um, this was $2. Oh, the green thing was like $4. Probably not super cheap, but this was $2. And I liked it because I thought I could hang it on my wall and put little um, crystals in it. Okay, um, the next thing I was really, really excited about. Um, so I love bees. Bees are my peeps. <laughs> bees are my jam. And I saw this and it wasn't very cheap. Um, it was like $12. But it's in perfect condition. This was at Goodwill. And you can see it has this little hive and little bees and flowers and like little honeycomb type things all the way around. And on top of it, oh, there's stuff in there. Do I want to show that? Um, bees on the top and it's just beautiful it's in perfect condition it's all black which is just I mean come on and then what's cool is, and just that's what it looks like on the inside on the bottom it has um, a picture as well bees all the way around these flowers and it's just gorgeous I <laughs> because it was $12 I picked it up I looked at it and I was like I don't want to spend $12 on this. And then I went and stood in line to buy the rest of my stuff. And it was my turn next. And I kind of had this mild panic attack. And I was like, I need that box. <laughs> so I left and went and got it and put it in my basket and bought it. And I'm so happy that I did. I just, I couldn't stop thinking about it as I was looking for other things in the store. So this is going to live on my altar. And it is going to house my prayer beads that I don't yet have because I want to make them. But, um, and some other things that I have. But 
I love it. That was that was like that was like I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, this this is what I came here for. And I'm it's like now I have this standard of things that I want to find every time I go and when I don't I get really disappointed. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, I got this little guy, and I already put a tea light in him. So just a tea light holder, and I think it's cute. And when I saw it, it was dirty. I washed, and well, obviously I wash everything that I get at thrifted places, but this was particularly dirty. And I saw it, and I thought, mm, that's not really my style. Um, but then I ended up grabbing it because I, I did like, I ended up liking it. Um, I thought, you know what, it, it was like under $2, like $1.50 or something. And I thought, well, it's $1.50 and if I really hate it, I can give it away or something. But so far I like it. I put this little guy in it and it kind of reminds me of like, um, for my meditation altar to connect like myself connecting with spirit or myself connecting with my conscious and my unconscious or personal unconscious collective unconscious and like just kind of the connection between those things and I, I, I really like it now because of that and I'm very very happy that I picked it up good job Deb oh good job Ayla <laughs> uh. Um, this next we have a shadow box so you can see it goes in a little way it's got black velvet lining uh, which is really cool and you can see where the glass there's like a little ridge here where a glass sorry there's pet hair because my cats and dogs are always in this um, there's a little ledge here where you can put a piece of glass um, but it has feet on it so I don't know that it was particularly meant to hang up more as to be displayed um, but I wanted it to cast my runes in I thought that would be a perfect little casting space um, and I also have um, drawn cards and laid them out here because the black background really makes them stand out especially with my one second especially with my crystal unicorn because they're pastel so they stand out quite a bit on this black background and they just look super cute aren't these cute cards boop I if you can can't see that can you there all right anyways that's what i got this for i'm not totally in love with this like vintagey beigey it looks more dirty than antiqued so I'm thinking but I do like the crackle look but I, I mean it's fine I might just paint over this and uh, I'm not sure how much of that crackle you'll see but you'll be able to see this there's a crackle in there it's almost smooth probably be able to see a little bit but I'm gonna probably paint this dark blue to match this wall that I painted over here Let's see if you can hold on that blue isn't that beautiful oh my god I love it love it so pretty <laughs> that blue it's a matte I forget what the name of it is but I have lots of extra so this might match that wall when I'm done with it um then I got this you find these all the time at Goodwill it's a little hangy shelves but what I want to do with it is when I hang this puppy gonna hang something like this is a painting uh, it's not a painting it's a print of something that I got and then I'm gonna hang it with this underneath and put candles so it kind of like you know shines upon the photo illuminates this is, this is a print and she called it dark thoughts um, but I liked it because it reminds me that we are all made of stardust star stuff is the actual quote but I like stardust better um, but it's it just I love this and then I thrifted this frame I got it at Goodwill for like two dollars and it was just some ugly gray white blech, color and I painted it black I primed it and painted it 
You can see a theme here. I like to paint my shit. So just thrift it. And then it's, I just look for like a frame that I like the pattern of. And then I just prime it and paint it the color that I want it to be. Um, right now, most of them are black. <laughs> but I do have other colors. Anyways, so this is going to go on my wall in this room. I'm not sure if it's going to go on the blue wall or the gray wall above my meditation altar. And I'm kind of feeling like it needs to be above my meditation altar because this is very much a, you know, as above, so below type image to me. So that, that actually, I think I just decided, thank you for being there with me while I thought that through. Anyways, this is gonna go underneath that, put some candles on it to illuminate said picture um oh and then I got these little guys which again always they seem to always be at the Goodwill um, but this one came in a set so it was matching so I got those and I want to hang them on my wall thought they would be cute like to put crystals and candles I'm always looking for things to set crystals and candles on that are off of a table like I don't I, I hate having everything on one level I just think that looks boring <laughs> to be honest so I want to like put I have sconces look I'll show you I put one well you can see one in the background there right there by the wall and I put one way over there with a candle on it um, so that there's just different levels of illumination in my room uh, anyways, so that's what these are for, so I can have, like, different levels. And they match, and I think this set was, like, $3. This little shelf was, like, a dollar. This shadow box was, I don't even remember. It was only a couple dollars. It wasn't anything that I had to think about. I was just like, yep. Um, yeah, so I think altogether... That was, that's actually it. There's so much more I could show you from past thrifts. Oh, I put this on Instagram Ooh, recently. It's a chamber stick and I love chamber sticks. I always look for these. Whenever I go into Goodwill or any kind of thrift store, I'm looking for these. Um, one, I like, I just think they're freaking cute and old timey and I love that. <laughs> I just, you know, pretend to like walk down the hall at night with a candle to go, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I like the <laughs> the size of this one because I have some, like this one here, which I bought at Target for not cheap, but I just really wanted one and it looks nice. But see, it holds a regular size taper. This one is big and violent and it can hold a coach candle or a votive even I mean right so um, but I like chamber sticks because you can put things as you can see this one is well used already I fill it with herbs for different reasons you can put crystals you can put whatever the fuck you want down there um, and I've got a nice charred piece of Palo Santo You're the darkness in me, Palo Santo. Love that song. Um, yay, Ollie. Um, anyways, this was like three dollars. My Goodwill doesn't ever put like the um decorations and home decor and candles and stuff on sale, which is super annoying. <laughs> super annoying. But a couple dollars better than paying I think chamber sticks online are like 20 plus bucks so three dollars not bad um anyways that is basically it nice and short just wanted to share that with you guys I hope you enjoyed it and I will be thrifting again soon I could show like my furniture because a lot of my furniture is thrifted or from estate sales or Craigslist and things like that um, so I could show that you just have to look and you have to like be on it to get the good deals. In fact, I found, oh, my husband has been looking for a, um, a 
a shelf, like a uh, display case <laughs> with like clear glass and glass shelves for his, um, but he has a bunch of stuff uh, to put in there. And I've been looking and for months and then I found one on Craigslist. These people were moving and they had moved and they had a couple pieces of furniture that they didn't want anymore, didn't have time to sell. And they basically just said, if you can come get it, you can have it. And one of them was a fairly new display case, fully glass, several shelves. It was skinny. It was perfect um, with a lock on the front glass case for free. So I jumped on that and got that for him. And he was like, good find, babe. He doesn't talk like that. <laughs> but... Um, he always like teases me because I'm always on Craigslist looking for stuff and he's like, you're on there all the time. I'm like, dude, you have to, the good stuff, you have to like be the first and you have to like be on it or else you're going to miss it. And anyway, so I've got some other finds with good stories like that and I'd be happy to share those with you. If anybody's interested, let me know. Um, otherwise, I will talk to you again later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Totally delete that out. <laughs> <laughs>